Yo, what up y'all? It's not a four back for more. They keep the raw represent everyone see what not verse. Gonna do a video on uh, Taurus rising, right? Which is Aquarius in the uh, 10th house. And Aquarius in the 10th house would be fixed air, right? So being um, stubborn or consistent upon your own way of communicating or thinking, right? So this individual is gonna think about their business in a way that, okay, this is how I'm gonna run it. And they know this from a very young age, right? They, they may be uh, in business ventures, right? And they may be just like associating with people and seeing where they want to actually um, fucking take what, like what they want to take out of someone else's like structure, right? To say that, okay, I see this individual makes a lot of money, right? Boom. They have a good life. I, I you know, I think that I like their lifestyle. So they may take pieces and parts out of other people's, you know, um, motherfucking um, demographics. <laughs> Not really demographics. Out of people's um, lifestyle, like I say. Um, and use it for their own, right? But you have to think about this. This is like pressure. So you look at the 90 degree angle of um, the 10th house and the first house. So, right, this is a, like a legendary square, if you ask me. Fucking Aquarius and Taurus. Um, in my personal opinion, it's like Aquarius is going to be fixed on their communication style. Taurus is fixed in their own way of practicality, right? They're going to make it work, and it's going to take some time, but Aquarius is going to be frustrated. Motherfucking Taurus is like, dang, why is this, why is this individual being so, like, stuck on the way that they want to communicate to me? It's like, can they just please change it up? Like, I, I, want, to, I want you to use some different, like, loving language. You see what I'm saying? Uh, why you got to be so hard? Why you got to be so Saturnian? <laughs> right? So... You look at that Saturnian nature in the in the uh, tenth house. It's it's really a good alignment though, because um, Capricorn is generally in the tenth house, right? And you look at it being ruled by Saturn. It's, so Aquarius is well ruled by Saturn and co-ruled by Uranus, though, right? So that co-rulership, <clears throat> you know, it don't really work too well with your uh, Venus, like you know, Venus ruled chart, right? Your first house being in Taurus. So with the first house being in Taurus. It's like you're going to be in your own practical way of going about life, right? You're going to be, you know, the individual that everybody sees as, like, so to quote unquote, I'm going to use the cash cow, right? You know, uh, motherfuckers be, um, <clears throat> you know, worshiping the cow and shit, <laughs> the golden calf or whatever, you know what I'm talking about in the uh, motherfucking Bible. Um, the cash cow, you dig? That's some whole other shit. But, um, you look at Taurus as this individual that everybody sees as they can get along with, right? Uh, they're a very loving individual, but, but don't play with their money because, you know, they got money and then, and you know, it. they get out of your pocket, they're going to show it and throw it. You know, that's the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Wheezy and Payne. Yeah, um, uh, Aquarius being here, right? You're going to be associative with your business, right? So you may be an individual that may communicate for a living, right? You may just, um, but it's going to be in a very different, like, way that people communicate. It's going to be like, you may be doing, like, consultations with people, um, that are more, like, out of the ordinary, right? Because, just Aquarius is like predictably unpredictable, right? So, an individual, right? And, and you're very individual, the individual, when it comes to your blueprint, your tenth house, right? You're very much so an individual. That's Aquarius to a T, because you're going to be associating with people, and they're going to be like, "Oh, okay, this person really gets to it," but like, it's like a way that I've never seen before. You see what I'm saying? Like, Taurus is so real like that. You know, so I'll talk to this motherfucking tree, you dig? It's, uh, just one right behind me, you know what I'm saying? This one's pretty fire. It's a big ass tree. So I'll talk to this tree. But, um, that's some other shit. <laughs> Speak about this, this, like, real pressure, though. Um, with your, with your business and how you actually want to conduct your personal life. It's like you want to be, you know, real loving to everybody, but you know, to, when you get money, there ain't no love in it. You see what I'm saying? 
it's like when you associate with people you know they might be trying to cut you in the back but you got to really like use your words wisely and get people on your side you dig yeah that's some whole other shit you know tourists don't really know how to do that too well but, like once they learn how to do that that shit you see what i'm saying that's what that's why them and gemini get along so well you dig yeah that's some whole other shit <clears throat> but uh You look at the motherfucking sextile to the 12th house, that's your, like, dreams, right? So you got your 12th house being in Aries, right? So you want to be this individual that's doing something brand new at all times. It's like, even even your, like, hidden enemy, like, some hidden enemies, like, uh, are in your 12th house, right? You're behind your nightmares, right? Some motherfuckers stab you in the back. It's like, that's going to be in, in a whole new way, like, a way you didn't even know, like, it's so, like, it's like, it's like fire being in the water, so it's like it's burning up but it's like it it feels real so it's damn it's real emotional right there for you you know when it comes to your dreams because you bring something brand new into the emotional realm brand new brand new dreams type shit you see what i'm saying it's like whenever aries and uh, aquarius get together ooh, it's, it go crazy you see what i'm saying uh aries and aquarius is like the sextile that like okay let me give you an example you think about waka flocka flame and motherfucking gucci you see what I'm saying? Aqu uh, Aquarius Gucci and Sagittarius Walker. I mean, that music go crazy. You see, like, literally crazy. But, like, this shit ran a whole generation type shit. But, um... Like, you think about how much energy is coming out of that, and it's just like, they just making music. You know what I'm saying? Um, on some real shit. It's like, you know, it's gonna be something brand new. Like, so, like, if you do make music, do some brand new shit. Like, and if, if like you're, if that's your dream to make music then do some brand new shit with some individuals that like maybe like have been in the game like maybe like motherfucking stevie wonder or some shit like that do some brand new shit like man the homie be going the homie be doing some different shit like stevie wonder is real but yeah um holla at me if y'all want a consultation and all that but um <clears throat> you know i, I kind of fucks with everybody saying about that uh it's a uh, you know good rising to y'all i fucks with that instead of that uh you know, morning where you're not, you're not finna be morning the day you dig. Um, this ain't, this ain't nothing, you know, this body, go, this body in the, in the process of dying. We ain't dead yet, you dig, you know what I'm saying? We live, we live in today, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna completely change, you know, throughout the day too. And into the next day. So it's like, you know, rise above this shit. Rise above it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Much love to y'all. Have a good one.